Yes, I'm Adolfo Rosati. I come from the National Research Council in Agriculture from Italy. Uh, particularly my workplace is in <coughs> Umbria and I work with olives but uh, I never like to work only in one species because I think that uh, agriculture should be more complex agroecological systems so I like to study what else can be grown together with olives so uh, recently I have been working with uh, combining uh, chickens, chicken raising, olives and other species like wild asparagus. Main research questions are uh, how can we exploit the potentially positive interactions in a way that they work su sustainably in terms of environment but as well in terms of economic terms for the farmers and um, some advantages might appear obvious but as we are scientists we want numbers uh, to answer our questions and so I studied the combination of olives and chickens and with the life cycle assessment to show with numbers uh, if and to what extent the combination can be useful and to summarize it chickens can provide fertilization and weeding into an olive orchard and these two practices happen to be the one with the highest uh, environmental impact therefore grazing uh, the olive orchard with chickens and saving those two practices imply large savings in environmental impacts and of course also savings in economic terms of course growing a more complex system can be more challenging and this requires more um, skills and experience by the uh, part of the farmer but on the other hand, farmers could also collaborate sharing the tasks and the skills. And so I do believe that in the future agriculture we have to learn to exploit these positive interactions. I think that when you design new systems, um, you have to think not only about technical aspects, but also social aspects and policy aspects. And so if we don't work all together to change the way the consumer approaches the market, the way the policies allows the farmer to do or not to do certain practices, we scientists can prove the environmental and technical advantages of some practices, but there won't be enough to make them happen and to be adopted. Farmers need uh, not only more data, which they need of course, but they also need more demonstration, more information and more freedom on the policy side to be able to market their crops. If they are inventive and the market doesn't allow them to sell their new inventive crops, then there's no future for these things. So I believe policy is a big important thing. Uh, a farmers adding chickens to the olive orchard cannot easily sell those chickens and uh, he doesn't have a lot of guidance on how to uh, overcome the bureaucratic burdens of selling chickens, he's not going to do it. So we need to work 360 degrees around problems and not by just a scientific corner side. Um, I think uh, it, it's already happening that uh, scientists work more and more in collaboration with farmers and this is a very good aspect and it's becoming more and more understood that uh, new ideas have to be, to be developed together from the very beginning but this is already happening like in the Earth for World project where first thing you do you meet with farmers you talk about problems you come up with possible solution and only after you've agreed with them that those solutions might be worth pursuing then you do research on the technicalities of it. And um, the other uh, recommendation would be that uh, scientists are also more in contact with policy makers and, and uh, politicians to uh, again share with them from the beginning the, the potentials and the burdens that hinder the development of agroforestry practices. You may very well say that Italian agriculture was nothing but agroforestry until a generation ago. Uh, it has been largely abandoned and it, when it does survive, it survives as remnants of an old system. And the reason for this is that the old system were uh, perhaps efficient in terms of ecological, uh, ecology, but were not efficient in terms of human labor. Human labor is uh, fairly more expensive nowadays and we cannot afford those systems. So the challenge is to take whatever was good of the old systems, add whatever good additional information we can add, but then turn it into a practical modern system that's suitable to the 
actual market and social situation. And this is the main challenge, perhaps bigger than scientific challenge. I believe scientifically we can develop wonderful system more easily than we can actually put them in practice. And the reason is because of the other limits that I was mentioning, the policy, the societal, the mental aptitude of people, those are, those are major obstacles, perhaps more than scientific obstacles. And so in Italy, uh, we have, might have been champions of agroforestry, uh, agroforestry in the past, we definitely are slightly behind. And I find that, in fact, among uh, Italian researchers and uh, especially society farmers and policy makers, uh, agroforestry is really poorly understood and known. And so we perhaps need right now to make a better effort in advertising and disseminating what is already known more than uh, doing more research because unless the policymakers and the farmers hear about it, we won't have room to work in agroforestry. There is no agroforestry dedicated institution in Italy. There is no agroforestry working group um, that established at the European level. We, we lack knowledge about agroforestry, modern agroforestry in Italy. People think that combining crops and animals is an old thing. We have to uh, show them that it can be done in a modern things. It's not a matter of going back to our former agriculture. It's a matter of advancing, taking the best of the today world with the best of yesterday's world. I, in, in the cases where the farmers keep the uh, old-fashioned uh, tra uh, traditional agricultural system, it's because uh, farming has been uh, surviving on um, subsidies and subsidies allowed farmers to keep doing what they had always done and uh, uh, some of them can do nothing else but farming because that's what they've done for their whole life and they can make a poor living because of the subsidies and so therefore they just keep doing what they knew how to do it and the subsidies allow them to do it but that's not to say that it's efficient or that it's desirable so we want to go into modern system that can be uh, more attractive and lucrative for young and more motivated people. My main interest is, um, well of course as a scientist I like other people to know what I've done and I like them to pick it up if at all is useful for them. I look for uh, collaborations and uh, ideas from other scientists for, so I can go home more inspired about what to do next. Uh, but I'm also hoping that um, the conference contributes to filling those gaps that I was mentioning before about general public knowing agroforestry, policymakers knowing agroforestry, so that we, we can, in addition to the science, progress in the society and policy so that all three elements can, can progress towards a more sustainable world. Thank you, Adam. Thank you. It's a pleasure.